what I can tell you is that um, my experience of what chastity was changed from when I was trying to live it as a Protestant to when I was trying to, began trying to live it as a Catholic. As a Protestant, I just thought that chastity was abstinence, just not having sex, just a negative. And so my life became just try, 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 not to, not to fall, fall, get back up. Try, try, try not to fall, fall, get back up. And you know, the good thing is that with God's grace, I kept getting back up. Um, but you know, the bad side is that I felt that I was living a negative. And you really can't live a negative. Um, and so when I, when I became Catholic, what I learned, and actually this was part of what made me, uh, led me to believe in the truth of the Catholic Church's teachings, that I, I learned from a Catholic friend of mine who gave me uh, a good uh, book to read that, um, that talked about uh, John Paul uh, II's uh, teachings on sexuality. I learned that chastity is not a negative. Chastity is a virtue, and virtues are always positive. Virtues enable us to do things that we wouldn't be able to do without them. And uh, my favorite definition of chastity, which I talk about in The Thrill of the Chaste, Catholic edition on page 55, it's from uh, my friend uh, Porik Meyer, who says, chastity is the virtue that enables us to love fully and completely in every relationship in the manner that is appropriate to the relationship. I think that's as good a distillation of, of the teachings of Jesus Christ on love and sexuality as, you know, as anyone has been able to come up with. And it's very much based on uh, the teachings of the catechism of the Catholic, uh, of the Catholic Church. Um, the idea that, that love is lived according to the type of relationship. This is why we can't just say love is love. Love is not love, because if love were love, then I could just marry my dad. But there is a different relationship between child and parent. And likewise, man and woman were created by God to live in this relationship, which is creative, which is procreative. And, and they are the only sexes, or if you prefer genders, but they're the only sexes that are, that are designed to share in God's gift of uh, creation through procreation. And, and that um, makes the, the one flesh union of, of man and, and woman the only union that can really reflect the unity of the, of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in the Trinity.